COVID-19. Now to some breaking news from Maryland. That's where Governor Larry Hogan announced South Korea flew half a million test kits to BWI Airport this weekend. The governor hailing this as an unprecedented surge in testing capacity. And he thanks his wife Yumi for taking a key role in the effort. Mike Valerio has been tracking this story since the weekend. And Mike, the first lady, played a significant role in this deal. Yeah, Leslie, that's absolutely right. I think, in fact, that's the understatement of the evening right there. Governor Hogan went so far as to say that Yumi Hogan really saved the day here and led Operation Enduring, Enduring Friendship into completion. It's because of her South, bringing, uh, South Korean upbringing that she was able to maintain these ties for decades. She leads so many of these trades mission, missions to South Korea, and she was able to complete this one in just about three weeks' time. So as we look at the incredible pictures and go to the numbers here again as Adam said we have half a million test kits in the state of Maryland and that is roughly equivalent to seven times the testing capacity that Maryland had before that flight touched down at BWI Airport and we should add that this is the first Korean air flight to ever land at BWI that 18 hour trip from Incheon International Airport just out of Seoul right over to BWI so Governor Hogan went into pretty specific details about the drama that unfolded throughout those three weeks. Just take a listen to what he told all of us earlier this afternoon. We made a personal plea in Korean asking for their assistance. That call uh, set in motion 22 straight days of vetting, testing, negotiations, and protocols between our scientists and doctors eight Maryland state government agencies and our counterparts in Korea. So Hogan said that his wife set this all in motion with the ambassador to South Korea, Ambassador Lee, on March 28th. And Leslie and Adam, the broader implications for what this all means, the federal government essentially had no role in making this happen. This was all out of an Annapolis playbook as to what to do here using those ties that have been cultivated over the years. And this means that true to the White House uh, statements that have come out of the briefing room over the past few days that this will be the charge of the states to help or to increase their testing capacity and the federal government here in DC will have little role in making that happen so the wider implication all of the states that are really hurting for testing capacity may need to go on these uh, sort of missions to go to extraordinary measures to get this testing capacity. Adam, Leslie. Well, it's really incredible when you detail all of that, Mike, the contributions that the First Lady has made both in real yeah. time and what she has cemented in history with this moment. Thank you.